Hey everybody, it's Robbie from Detroit Driver and today is the first episode of Supercars in 7 featuring the Aston Martin DB11 Volante. This is super exciting. This car is amazing and we're going to do our video on it. So, let's get started. So the DB11 is the successor to the DB9. Personally, I think this is one of the best looking cars that you can purchase today. Now, Austin Martin is very well known, obviously, for its tie with the James Bond franchise. In fact, these wheels are even dubbed the S007. Now, that is pretty cool. Now, to go around with the occasion, I actually brought this little sampler which is a 007 cologne and I'm just gonna put that on me like that just so we get in the mood. Now, Aston Martin is considered a grand touring car which means that basically this car is sporty, it's classy, but it's meant to be somewhat practical. Now what do I mean by practical? Well to start we have a back seat or a joke of a back seat for that matter but I did actually fit in here and rode in here when the owner took me for a drive just to test it out I was probably super excited because I was in an Aston Martin and I probably didn't care that I was squished but I actually do fit now other practical things about this car well we will take a look at the back end in the trunk as we open this up, hopefully. Just like that. I mean, you could fit some bags in here, maybe, but that might be a stretch. Now, like I said earlier, this car is one of the most beautiful cars, in my opinion, that you can buy today. It's sleek, it's classy, and you literally feel like James Bond on the road. I mean, how much cooler does it get than that? The owner of this car opted for these rims, which I really prefer over the base DB11 rims. Those are kind of ugly for lack of better terms, but just look at these headlights, the grill, and look how aggressive this thing is. But we'll get it started really quickly. So to open the door, look at you just kind of do this. And then actually, if you don't know this about Aston's, the doors open kind of on an angle. So that's kind of cool. It reduces a little bit of the space that it takes up to an opening the door. They'll also stop at kind of whatever distance you put it at. So that's kind of cool. But we'll hop in here, foot on the brake, and you press the engine start stop. That's pretty sweet. We'll even put it into Sport Plus. Since Aston Martin is a smaller company, relatively speaking, they do partner with Mercedes to help out with some of this car. So, this kind of central area should look very mercedes y with the turn dial and this center touch thing right here. We have our screen up here, and it, it looks very Mercedes, he just rebranded as Austin Martin. Unfortunately, that means that the generation of technology that's in here is actually previous generation Mercedes. So if we're buying a brand new car, you're getting previous generation technology, which kind of sucks, but it does help save Aston a lot of money, and at least you know the technology is reliable because it's Mercedes-Benz. Now another Mercedes influence on the car is actually the engine. So we're going to open that here by pressing that button down there. And we'll open the engine. Now, it is a 4.0 liter V8 engine made by Mercedes, but tuned by Austin Martin. So we can get a nice look at that here. And this is kind of a clamshell hood because it opens this way. And then one really awesome thing is that the actual headlight cutout is there 
on the clamshell hood. Of course, this is a convertible, so the roof goes up and down. We can do it by pulling this button here, and it'll make the windows go up, and then we pull it again, or we push it. Yeah, we gotta push it. And then the roof goes up. The roof will go up in 16 seconds, and it will go down in 14 seconds, up to 31 miles an hour. So you don't even have to stop to put the roof up in this car, which, you know, is pretty cool. Something else that I really like is the steering wheel. This is the sport steering wheel, which is pretty cool. And then we have these nice big paddle shifters, which makes driving the car even that much more epic. We also have our seat controls down here. So the seats are pretty maneuverable. And then we also have this center glove box area with some cup holders that pop out here, and then that can be closed using this button. So, I think now it's time to take this baby for a drive. What better way is there to drive this car than Sport Plus? So, let's just listen to this car in a second. We will let it rip. The exhaust on this thing is nuts. It goes zero to 60 in four seconds, and we can definitely feel it. This car is just a blast. Oh, listen to that car. That car gets, it doesn't even feel like four seconds is, four seconds is a conservative estimate. I'm sure that's the real estimate, when you're actually driving this thing, four seconds is like that. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this first episode of Supercars in 7 featuring the DB11 Volante. I'm obviously a huge fan. I brought out my Aston Martin t-shirt and I even rubbed James Bond cologne over myself. If I didn't mention it before, this is starts at $220,000 and this car is spec to $238,000. It's a little more expensive and Aston Martins depreciate like you don't want to know. But when it looks as cool as this, when it drives as great as it does, and when it makes you feel as classy and as special as this car does, I don't think any of those other things matter. So huge thank you to the owner as well for letting me steal his car for the day. I'm super grateful and I cannot wait to see you for episode two of Supercars in 7.